Hello everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day and welcome to the first ever video on this channel. In this video, we will look at the steps required to install R, R Studio and R Tools on a Windows 10 machine. For those of you who don't know about R, if you identify as someone who is a very heavy spreadsheet user, if you do a lot of number crunching, data analysis, or if you are into machine learning and predictive modeling, then R is your go-to programming language. Plus, R is also free of cost, and what that means is that you do not pay any license or subscription fees. But before we get into the installation process, I'll take a couple of minutes to introduce myself and this channel. I work as a business analyst and have been working in this domain for the past four and a half years. Prior to this, I have worked for three years in different roles. I have completed multiple reporting, analysis and automation assignments using R over the past several years. The entire objective of creating this channel is to share the knowledge I have learnt over the years with all of you, to practically apply some of the amazing packages that R offers into some real world projects. A lot of the information on our packages and best practices is scattered across multiple blogs, tutorials and books. And I want to use this channel to consolidate and share that information with all of you. I'll make this entire learning process as interactive as possible. And I would need all of you to be equal stakeholders in this process by actively commenting your feedback and suggestions. Without further ado, let's head straight to Google and search R for Windows. Click on the link from cranrproject.org that goes by download R 4.0.4 for Windows. On this page, click on the link at the top that goes by download R for Windows. This includes both the 32 and 64 bit versions. This will save the application on your system. Open the application once it's saved and follow the steps that you see on your screen. That was it. We will repeat the exact same steps to install R Studio. So R Studio is an IDE or short form for integrated development environment. In simple terms, it's the front end interface or code editor where we do all our work. I'll be posting a tour of R Studio over the coming weeks. So again, let's head straight to Google and search for R Studio for Windows. Click on the link from rstudio.com that goes by download the R Studio IDE. On this page, click on the download button under the free section as soon. This will save the application on your system. Open the application once it's saved and follow the steps that you see on your screen. That was it. Again, we will repeat the exact same steps to install R tools. So R tools provides the set of functions required to build new R packages. So if you can think of a set of instructions that can make data analysis a bit more easier or a modeling or a machine learning algorithm that does not exist in R, then R tools provides the arsenal you need to build new packages and also make those packages available to other R users. Let's head to Google and search R tools for Windows. Click on the link from cranrproject.org that goes by using R tools 40 on Windows. On this page, click on the link shown. The link to the 32 bit version is also available as you can see. This will save the application on your system. Open the application once it's saved and follow the steps that you see on your screen. Uh, 
that was it uh, we are almost done we will launch our studio for the final step first we install the dev tools package by typing the command install.packages followed by the name dev tools enclosed between inverted commas and round brackets in the r console this installation will take some time so i'll fast forward this part next we will activate the dev tools library by typing the command library followed by dev tools between the round brackets but this time without the double quotes next we will type the command find underscore r tools the above command should return a true that was it on the installation so let's recap so we started this video on why you should learn r then a brief introduction about myself and this channel and lastly we looked at the steps to install r r studio and r tools hope you found this video useful Make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good luck and happy learning.